In this video I will show you how to enable NFC and contactless payments on your Android phone. If something happened to NFC on your phone and the, the settings, the NFC settings are um, changed, some apps they might try to take over the NFC settings, especially the contactless payments, they might try to make themselves the default. To enable the NFC settings and change the payment app to the one you prefer, in my case this is the Google Pay app. I opened the Google Pay app and it says the NFC is disabled because I disabled it earlier. To enable the NFC on the, your Android phone, you open settings and then go to device connection. And here connection preferences, Bluetooth, Android, Android Auto and NFC. And here go through the Android Auto and all the settings and you have NFC there. So this is the option, there is a section for NFC. In the settings for NFC, you have this off. If you have it off here, for whatever reason, you can easily turn it back on, just like that. But this might not be enough, because if you have an app that took over your NFC settings, basically it made itself default, you have to go further to contactless payments, and here you choose the default app. For me, this is actually the app I want, and I had a problem with another app before it took over the NFC, it made itself default and Google Pay wasn't working anymore. And you would choose here the app you want. It's not any of these apps, I these apps they didn't do anything to my NFC settings, they didn't try to take over NFC. So you tap on Google Pay if you're using Google Pay and that's all. Also, use default payment app except when another payment app is open. I like to keep the settings like this. So if I open another payment app, a banking app, that app will be active for NFC while it's open. And then I can switch to another app for um, using that one. So it's more flexible like this. Now I see this is the revolt card is ready and it's ready to hold to the reader to tap to pay for a payment. Any po point of sale. It's really convenient to have the card on the phone like this, so you don't have to carry the cards with you. And actually, I'm not carrying any cards with me now. I always pay with the phone or cash. So this is the option. I have the card if I need to take it. If the card on the phone doesn't work, I will use another card on the phone because I can have multiple cards here. Or I can use cash. I always keep cash just in case. Thanks for watching.